I think I am going to try to stay in my little corner here. Don't don't bring logic into this argument. Goodness. Um, I think I'm going to stay in my own little lane over here for a while. Kind of work on some different stuff. I think it's just time to reassess and kind of see, see what works, see what doesn't. I know the ASMR is your top priority, but there are other things I would like to do. So are you offended? Okay, so you're offended. I said, leave him alone. No, Get I wasn't him. offended. No, don't put words in my mouth. I wasn't offended. I'm I'm put words in your mouth. I'm you're saying that you that I hurt you. Well, I didn't say me, I said the people there were people involved that you hurt. Like okay, so people, we were gaslighters. People were there were gaslighting. You were gaslighting. What you, you did was all hey, here's the thing. The way you treated him was kind of despicable. I don't hold you accountable because I don't think you realized it. I don't think any of you realized it. I saw it. I saw it clear as night. Clear you as all, day. Hey, here's the thing. You, it was all, hey, here's the thing. So where are you at now? Home. Where are you at now with everyone? Or where are you reaching out to other people? And you're not. You're not oh, reaching out to other people. Are you telling me what I'm doing? Seriously? Yeah, because I haven't heard from you. You're, you're way incorrect. You, Oh, I am? Okay. I, I would never go to your, your best buddy, pal, Evelyn, treats me like the enemy number one. And you're fully aware of it. And you support it. And you are attempting to harm, excuse me, I'm, my um, reputation. That's your agenda. It's clear. And I don't trust your room. So I'm going to not just go in and go, hi, guys. It's Dana. You can just punch me in the face, say a bunch of mean words to me, and I'll be okay. I won't be. I won't put myself in a situation where people are abusive to me. And it, by all evidence, that's how you and Evelyn have treated me. So certainly, I'm not going to reach out and go, how about today, guys? You want to be my friend today? It's not going to happen. I believe you. You can be unkind. You've shown me that. Evelyn is incredibly unkind, or can be. I believe her. So I'm not going to hang out with her. And if she doesn't wish to reach back to me, then, then so be it. It's sad. But it's the way it is. I was asking you four weeks ago what you alluded to, and I wanted some explanation. Well, I, did I not just give it to you? I mean, are you still unclear? I think I just laid it out for you very plainly. No, what I'm saying is four weeks ago, I asked you for that, and it's been four weeks. This Jeff, you, you didn't want to you... reach out to me. On, you only wanted it on your terms so that I would be in front of your girlfriend, who Evelyn, and, and a bunch of hyena women who are calling me terrible names, and I'm supposed to get up there and go, well, let me try to get you guys to understand. I know your agenda is to hate me and say mean things to me. Of course I'm not going to go into your room with those people. I, I'm not a, 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 oh, my gosh. I mean, truly, I, I, what kind of human being do you think I am? Um, I'm not a masochist. I, not at all. And I'm not a sadist. But I'm not going to go into the room of people who are kicking me and go, oh, gosh, that really hurt this time. No, you already hurt me over and over. I get it. You're hurtful people. I get it. You are, so, too. So no. I mean, you're a good company. You are I can hurtful. Admit, I can admit no. it, though. You, you can't but even I'm face not. You got hurt by question. me because I was rescuing your friend, and you hated it. You got hurt by me because I was rescuing your friend that you couldn't help, and I get it. I can't. We can't all, all help people. But you weren't the bad guy. But because I was coming in and somebody was helping him, I'm the bad guy. You couldn't stand no. it. And because Evelyn, who thinks she knows me but doesn't, thinks she hates me but doesn't know me well enough to hate me, and has and threatened my licensure in the state that I live in over and over and over again, because she says anything to you about anything that's good enough, that's all you need 
to be cruel to me. I don't respect that. I respect a, a spine and a backbone in a man. Get one. Oh, I think you've got one. Use it. Well, how about you use yours and, and separate the two of us for a minute and actually address me instead of deflecting to, towards Evelyn? This that would is be good. No good Evelyn is part of the, uh, the equation, and she's never left your brain since she swum into it and, 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 and laid her eggs. See, there she you did. go. More deflection. I'm deflection deflecting. Your conversation with me is based on Evelyn's words. It always has been. No. You were a, a lot, a lot you more enjoyable when it was just you could not have. work. You were no, you can answer a question. I'm Stop. answering every question you have. You're deflecting. I, you, okay, you can say that, but you're wrong. You, you're, 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 you're gaslighting. You you're trying to gaslight me right now. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it, Dan. You're gaslighting. Do you like okay. to hear that word over and over? Yeah. How does it feel? Do you know what gaslighting means or deflecting? Because no, neither so you, you, you tell me your definition of gaslighting. Correctly. Tell me the definition of gaslighting. All right, well, there's a movie called Gaslight. No, I don't want really, a movie. I want a definition. I'm telling you the definition. The background of the word gaslight comes from a movie. It's called Gaslight. And it's where a man is trying to make his white wife feel that she's going crazy. And he's doing it in such a subtle way that it looks like she really feels like she's losing her mind. That things that she believed were true aren't true. It's a cruel, a, underhanded everything. behavior. And and when you told Gary that you and Evelyn, no, 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 we're not friends. No, no, no. That hurt him. It wasn't evil what you did, but it hurt him. It hurt him a lot. You were his friend. And so this is a suicidal guy. And he's saying, I'm, I'm at the point now where I've lost my friend. He's got a girlfriend. He's not telling me about it. What, what mattered then was humanity. Take his hand and, and, and comfort him. He loved you. He loved you. And he depended on you. And he trusted you. And in came Evelyn. And you both told him that he was, that's crazy. That never happened. Uh-uh, no, uh-uh, we're not doing that. And then very soon afterwards, you got on a on Pandora's channel and said, hey, we're having an emotional affair. <laughs> Isn't that cute and adorable? What? We're having an emotional affair? An emotional connection? You're a married man? She's got a boyfriend? Boyfriend just came on line and said how sad he was that his girlfriend is in love with another man. This is all, all happening at the same time. And Gary's kind of like, what? I, I'm so lost. Jeff was my best friend. I'm lost. So what's the definition of gaslighting besides a movie? Is there gaslighting is, is, is subtly making somebody feel like they're losing their mind. And not only making them feel like it, but not, you know, really not helping them out when they're like, I'm so confused. I feel like Jeff and Evelyn are, have, something's going on between them, but they keep denying it. But the next day, they go and admit it to everybody else. So that's called gaslighting. You're making him feel like he's going nuts. And he's a fragile guy. So he's, everybody's off limits to gaslight. He is particularly off limits. So it's defined by a movie. It's where the term came from, I believe. Yes, and it's a very good movie. You can go watch it and then we can talk. Is the action, is it making you believe everything is not what you think it is? Or just something? Yeah, he, if a husband gives his wife this very special brooch that belonged to his mother, and then when she puts it in a very special place, he takes um, it. I think I'm going to stay in my own little lane over here for a while, kind of work on some different stuff. Um, I think I'm going to stay in my own little lane over here for a while, kind of work on some different stuff.